this one is crazy. Killer drama sample. That's a platypus. That's actually big shit. But yeah, some space shit. Shaft. You know what I mean? But in French, the French pressing. You know, he has something to say, man. This shit is crazy. It's actually very crazy. Uh, I, have a, I have a really funny record there, actually. So I've been learning to uh, use old techniques in a new age, you know what I mean? And bring all this into here and really expand on, on the ideas, you know, and all the sounds and shit. That's why I, start, I used to be so like, oh, I'm just going to use the NPC. I'm just going to, you know, I kind of got over that shit. Like, I'll just make, make beats with all my tools and implement what I got all together, like, I don't want to waste space, I don't want to waste machines, like, you know what I mean? I want everything to be used, so. Doing the whole producing and rapping shit, you get to a point where it's like, you gotta really make that shit, you know what I mean? That shit just gotta hit, man. <laughs> and I think I'm the most, I'm the most, like, critical as far as it, uh, when it comes to my own shit, you know? experiences of mine to date was um, going to the UK and Europe and um, I had connected with my boy Ivan uh, in London to get like a booking in London and then I connected with some people in Amsterdam and Switzerland and Italy like just folks that I knew from the internet that I've worked with that I chat with yeah it was a crazy experience with mad luggage and bags and 
vinyl records and my, all my equipment. I had hella equipment. I was working while on the road, but it was my first time like going to navigate as an artist. You know what I'm saying? And it was the best experience ever because you know you go out there and people are like willing to help and you meet so many dope people. And, yeah, it's you know it, it, it was it was like crazy, and especially just being places and having people in other countries come through to your show or your pop up and like you're like damn like there's people that like actually fuck me like I hear something like it's great like it's always good like opening the machine and you're like well I forgot about this one in Amsterdam I had a dude pull up and and buy like I had so many copies of records I had like one of everything and he bought like one of everything and said that he he's like from like an hour and a half away from Amsterdam and that he's been fucking with my shit for a minute. But that type of shit fucks fuck my head up. You know? I mean, that was like one of the craziest experiences for me, like being, just, being in other countries and seeing people like, you know, show up and be like, yo, I know you, like I fuck with your shit. Like I've been fucking with you since, you know, that shit is, it's a cra crazy feeling, bro, crazy feeling. Yeah, it puts a lot into like perspective, you know, like people put music out, they think no one's listening, you know what I mean? But there's people somewhere like fuck with your shit, like, you know what I'm saying? It might not be like your boy from around the corner, you know what I'm saying? It might be some kid in Japan who just knows about your shit or some kid in in like Nigeria or Russia. This I began yeah, it's crazy. I be getting messages from people all over. So it's like a reminder, you know. That experience was a big reminder of like, you know, just keep doing what you're doing. There's people out there that, you know, a lot of people that probably know your shit, but, so.